Acute inflammation is the early, almost immediate response of a tissue to injury. It is non-specific and may be evoked by any injury short of one that is immediately lethal. Chronic inflammation may have a rapid or slow onset, but is characterized by its persistence and lack of clear resolution. It occurs when the tissues are unable to overcome the effects of the injuring agent. The appendix is a worm-like diverticulum of the cecum. The inner lining that faces the lumen, the mucosa, is covered by glandular epithelium, crypt, lined with the symbocolumnar epithelium, as well as goblet cells that produce mucin. Distributed throughout the epithelium are microfilled cells, which are involved in endocytosis of antigens to the immune cells from the lumen. The appendix is made up of an inner layer of mucosa with submucosa, muscularis externa, and serous layer. The submucosa of the appendix contains many mass of lymphoid tissues, suggesting that the appendix may play a role in the immune system. Acute appendicitis is often thought to be due to luminal obstruction either by impacted heart feces, fecalate, by enterobias worms, or by reactive hyperplasia of the lymph. The earliest morphological change is mucosal ulceration. A large number of neutrophils infiltrate the mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, and the serosa. The inflammation infiltrate spreads through the wall rapidly, causing a localized peritonitis. There's an infiltrate of polymorphonuclear neutrophils in the serosa, and the blood vessels are large, engorged, and dilated. The inflammatory exudate extends deep into the periappendiceal adipose tissue. Fibropurulent exudate compromise of fibrin and pus not normally witnessed is seen coating the serosa. However, in acute appendicitis, the serosa has fibrin covering the outside of the cut section of the lumen and fibrinopurulent serosa exudate ulceration and necrosis. The stomach consists of four layers, the outer mucosa, inner submucosa, muscularis externa and serosa. In the gastric mucosa has epithelium, lamina propria and muscularis mucosa, which is a thin layer of smooth muscle separating the gastric mucosa from the submucosa. The submucosa separates the mucosa from the next layer and is made of fibrous connective tissue. Beneath this lies the muscularis externa, consisting of three layers, the inner oblique, middle circular and outer longitudinal layer. The serosa is made up of connective tissue layers, which is continuous with the peritoneum. Chronic gastritis is defined as the presence of chronic mucosal inflammatory changes, leading eventually to mucosal atrophy and intestinal metaplasia. Main cause is helicobacter pylori. Neck cells become elongated and hyperplastic, and some of the tubular structures become slightly distorted. The superficial lamina propria contains a rich infiltrate of chronic inflammatory cells containing lymphocytes and plasma cells. The parietal and chief cells are decreased in number, and as chronic inflammation occurs, the mucosa is heavily infiltrated with white blood cells. These include neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, macrophages, monocytes, and plasma cells. The neutrophils will commonly migrate into the fovular epithelium. Intestinal metaplasia can be seen as it replaces the gastric glands. Under past alcyon staining, goblet cells are stained dark purple, showing alcyon positive, while the rest of the epithelium remain past positive. This is to show that intestinal metaplasia has taken place and proof that there is bacterial infection taking place rather than autoimmune.